Hey, uh, as Randy had mentioned at the beginning of the show, we've had the great privilege of taking our, uh, our little show around the, the country. And we've done a number of nights at uh, Joe's Pub. Oh, the, at the Public Theater in Manhattan. In Manhattan. Great, great place. Oh, yeah. Great, great place. And it's more of a nightclub, right? So it's a little more uh, intimate with these round tables and stuff. But your classy people in their gowns. All them, um, the Weibo nice Yorko club. people. And so we did our song. And there was... Did uh, that song. Right? Young, uh, better... Elderly woman, kind of beautifully dressed, with her. And everybody's laughing, and yeah. she's just like this. She's she didn't like, like the joke. Although she was a little askew, like. And there was all sorts of carnage, you know, um, alcoholic beverage carnage, um, suicidal sticks, and umbrellas. Oh, umbrellas and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. lime yeah. slices. It looked like they'd had like 18 pink squirrels at, at one table. And she just didn't like the jokes at yeah. the. So, about halfway through the next song, she just goes, Nine! <laughs> she totally got it. And laughing. I said, it's okay, ma'am. <clears throat> ma'am, it's like Social Security. You don't get it till you're 65. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're writing all the songs for history, but we were doing kind of hardcore history. You know, the history of the Roman Empire. Yeah. We're doing the spice trade. We're doing war. We thought maybe for a change of pace, we should do like maybe the softer side of history. Yeah. Like maybe we do the history of literature. Sure, because when you have eight minutes while your car is being serviced at Jiffy Loop, you write a song about the history of English literature. Yeah, so we, we decided we would do, how about all the plays of William Shakespeare? Why not? Yeah. Every but, one of them. Yeah, but the problem with the song like that, because I didn't want it to be just a list song, I wanted to say something about each play. But the, you know, the danger you run into when you do that is that the song can become long and boring. And you will be the judge as to whether or not that's what happened. Well, they're still here. That's so, ladies and gentlemen, all the plays of William Shakespeare. <laughs> A play by William Shakespeare always stimulates your thought Because one spends two hours trying to figure out the plot He wrote famous lines and phrases for his dog Like out damn spot oh! So who is this guy that critics praise Who's famous, famous for his terror phrase 37 different plays And lived in Elizabethan days And, and made Lawrence Olivier's career Let me your Stratford on Haven, apartment to be. Uh, was it to be or not to be? I really don't know, it's confusing to me. How do you understand Shakespeare with all of the hearts and the hoes and the flowery prose that he writes? A man wearing tights, so bring up the lights and let's study the bar. is killed by his brother who now becomes king and then marries his mother it ends up with everyone killing each other and that is the story that's told by the bar hey na -ni -na -ni -na. tra la la fa la 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 king henry the fifth is a play about war and so is king john and king henry the fourth still everybody was screaming for more so henry the sixth continues the go king lears shakes his daughter and the story is sad Cause then he feels bad Then he goes bad And both of them die In Romeo and Juliet everyone cries In Titus and Chronicus everyone dies Don't you just love them Shakespearean guys You go to the theater Pay all this money to see all these actors Who dress kind of funny And you say to your date Are you getting this honey? Cause I Explain it to me. Hey, na 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 tra la 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 Macbeth is a guy who is really ambitious. And that's why the king soon sleeps with the fishes. And he kills others, it's really quite vicious. Until it be, and he gets stabbed in the dump. No, that's wrong. Why Macbeth? Oh. He wrote comic romances with laughter and dances where everyone prances while taking their chances with love. La, la, la. Two gents of Verona and then my 
much ado about nothing. Then he'd write The Tempest at Twelve Night. The Wives of Windsor, as you like it, and Cymbeline. Love labor's lost, a winter's tale, and also midsummer night's dream. And gets entangled. There's cordial links where soldiers get tangled. Oh, fellows, the fellow whose wife ends up strangled. And that is the story that's told by the bard. Hey, nanny, nanny, na, tra, la, la, la. Troilus and Cressida, there was a pair. They were in love, and she had an affair. Not a great play, don't freaking care. Hey, nanny, nanny, na, tra, la, la, la. King Richard the Second's a guy they would help. King Richard the Third is the guy with the hump. That guy was a chump, cause all of his money was lent. Now it's spent, and he can't pay the rent, so he has to go live in a tent. Julius Caesar's about an attack. All of his friends put a knife in his back. Then a great play that would come after that is Antony and Cleopatra. La la, tra la la, tra la 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 la. The eight had six different wives. He's faithful to each till the next one arrives. Most of them ended up losing their lives. They're wedded and bedded and then they're beheaded. It's something that later he kind of regretted. But Shakespeare's plays are the place to be for violence and beauty and murder, you see. We really can't show it on children's TV, but that is the story. Though it's bloody and gory. Yes, that is the story that is over.